Good morning, welcome to episode 37 of my Around the Kent Coast adventure. You may tell I do have a little bit of a cold today, but um, if a doctor ever says the best thing for a cold is to sit at home drinking coffee, they are totally wrong. It's actually, um, the best thing for it is to cycle along the Kent Coast. So I'm here, uh, today we're gonna start at Little Stone, which is to my left and to my right, and we're gonna head towards Dungeness today, which you may just see right in the distance you can see the power station hopefully you can see that it's going to be a great cycle today hopefully you're drawing with the entire route let's get going So just as we start the journey today, we start out from Little Stone on Sea. I'm just gonna pan round so you can see the view from Little Stone, just out to sea. It's quite a clear day today. You can see miles and miles, it's quite nice. Uh, the waves are slightly choppy, which is uh, quite good to see. As you can see, the power station is just there on into the distance. A few old boats and beach huts as uh, sit on the beach there. And as I pan back to Little Stone, it's quite interesting, it was originally formed as a retreat for the gentry by Sir Robert Parks back in 1880, as you can see by these old manor houses. Uh, the flats here probably were a more later addition. Um, so it's quite an interesting fact about this is own on sea. Right, let's carry on around the coast. One thing I won't be using again for this video series is my bike because we're um, coming into Dungeness now um, which is kind of a really nice area but it's not really attuned to cyclists because um, the road's a bit inland and um, it's best to kind of see the views walking along the seafront looking at the old boats which would be really exciting but um, unfortunately this is probably the last episode you'll see my bike which is just behind me. It served me very well over the uh, last 37 episodes. Um, uh, there has been a few comments about people asking me to talk about my bike. Um, now the reason I actually haven't done that is um, I know nothing about bikes. Um, I kind of bought it from Halfords about a year ago um, and it's had no punctures on my entire journey. I've only pumped the tyres up about three times and um, it served me really well. Um, I've oiled the chain as well, a little bit of other maintenance I've done. Uh, but that's about it, so um, it served me very well. And this is the last you will see of my bike. It's very sad and it's gonna go back in my shed. Right, let's get going. So hopefully you can hear me above the noise of the waves breaking against the pebbles. It is quite noisy. So we've reached uh, Lead on Sea. You can just see Lead on Sea um, just in front of me now. It's probably a hundred or so houses along the seafront. Now, one of the problems is the road is quite a long way from the sea. So I've decided to chain my bike up, kind of come for a walk uh, by the seafront. It's a lot more interesting. We have actually um, entered Dungeness Coastal Park now which is very exciting because uh, Dungeness is actually the um, only UK desert. Um, I'm not actually quite sure what qualifies uh, to be a desert, but um, apparently it's the only one in the UK, so it's very exciting. Um, I believe it's in the kind of mass of sand, but um, who knows? Uh, kind of a, a telltale characteristic of, kind of Dungeness is the kind of old boats, as you see here, kind of dotted along the seafront. Now, I'm sure we will see a lot more of that in the weeks to come. It's very exciting. Uh, so let's head along here and see if we can find. Them. 
So now we've reached Dungeness, something I've actually realised is we've just come round a big bay. I'm just going to kind of try and show you. You may not see this because it is quite a distance off. I'll try and zoom in. But um, as I kind of pan round the bay here, the kind of shoreline goes round. Um, let me zoom in as I go round. And right in the distance, you may just work it out, um, I think that could be the White Cliffs of Dover. Uh, it's very exciting. Maybe the cliffs just past Folkestone. Uh, this may be a bit blurry, so you may not see it. Let's see if we can zoom in. There you go. And then that was quite a few episodes ago. It's a bit shaky, so I do apologise. But that's very exciting. Just shows you how far I've come in the last few episodes. Right. Let's carry on around the coast. So we've walked quite a way along the beach now. We've just reached Dungeness Estate. You can see the Dungeness Lifeboat Station uh, just behind me. And the kind of Dungeness Desert goes kind of on into the distance. Um, you can't quite see the, oh yes you can, the power station is kind of just over there now. Um, what, where we're heading next, we're actually going to head on to the uh, border now between Kent and Sussex. Which um, So what we're going to do is the pilot pub is just over there. We're going to turn right, go inland a bit and um, see if we can find the border. So it's all very exciting. Let's get going. Here we are at last on the Kent and Sussex border, as you can see by this mark here. Now I am in Kent, I'm just I'm gonna walk backwards into Sussex. So that's very exciting. As you can see here, this is the actual road border. As I pan round, you can see the uh, kind of lead ranges just ahead of us. As I pan round, there's a nice lake here. Uh, lots of kind of seabirds and wildlife. You may just see the wind turbines in the distance, very exciting. As we go past, past the border, back into Kent, you'll see many sheep grazing by this little lake here. Uh, the path we've just come down goes off into Kent, back around the Kent coast. As I pan around, the sea is actually, uh, you can't see it from here, which is a bit of a disappointment. It's over the other side of Lid Ranges, but there you go. Very exciting to have reached the border. Right, that's the end of our challenge. Now the good news is that's not the end of my adventure because the um, Kent and Sussex border we've just been to is the kind of official border along the road. Um, now the problem with this border is um, it's really you can't see the sea at all and it's um, basically not a very nice area. Now I was really kind of passionate about finding the sea border, um, the actual point along the seafront where kind of Kent and Sussex meet. Now the problem we face, it is actually on the um, kind of lead uh, for, uh, military range, which is a bit of a shame. Um, now, I've done some kind of research to try and find out if I can actually get to it. Um, and as you see by this map, there is a footpath going along there. Now, I've asked many people uh, whether I can actually walk along it and what the restrictions are. And so far, I've totally drawn a blank. So um, hopefully I'm going to carry on making these episodes until episode 40. Um, so in the next three episodes, I will be exploring uh, Dungeness Estate, uh, kind of going through, seeing all the lovely boats on the beach, walking past the power station, which you may just see behind me, and then on through uh, Lid Ranges uh, to find the mythical border. So hopefully uh, you'll join me uh, for these remaining few episodes. I'm sure they'll be very exciting.